friends, it has been too long, too long since we sat down and had a good minute together. I mean, I've done these vlogs of moving and settling in, which you can see is going well, but like, we just don't sit and talk anymore, you know? <laughs> Okay, so on a real note, for today's video, um, I have a huge haul. So let me disclaim by saying two or three things. One, if you're my mom, click off this video, or please don't yell at me for spending this much money. Second thing, if you're my husband, don't even watch this video. You're welcome in advance. Thirdly, if you're going to be one of those people that comment, Oh my god, why are you filming like a haul? Don't you know there's a pandemic? Like, first off, you shouldn't be out shopping. Secondly, like, people don't have money right now. Like, sis, I get it, that's fine. But, like, it's been a while since I treated myself. Um, I needed some of this stuff. I wanted some of this stuff. A lot of it I bought online when I was out. I wore a mask, and I just don't really feel like hearing it. So, if you're gonna say something mean, like, can we just not say it? Can we, like, not go there and just, like, let's be nice and just, like, lift each other up? Like, let's do that, okay? Cool. One more thing before we get started, if you guys are interested in viewing any of these pieces or purchasing any of these pieces, first off, everything will be linked down below. And if you want to see how I style them, because I know that was like a pretty popular video on my channel, it's like my like outfit video, like where I showed you like how I style my outfits. I will have every single thing with pictures of how I style them linked on my like to know it, which I will have down below. One that helps me out and like love you guys, you're the real MVP if you do that. But you also can get like more of a an idea on like what it looks like on my body rather than me just holding it up and then you can also see like how I were to style it. So if you're interested in that, again it is linked below. So I'm just going to stop with the rambling and let's get on with the haul. Okay, so I have a ton, ton of stuff here, um, and I don't really know how I want to break it up. So most of this stuff is from Amazon, and then basically what I didn't get in Amazon is either from TJ Maxx or Ross, mostly TJ's. Um, so I have things from, most of it is clothing, and then I have a couple household pieces. So let me start by, I don't know. So first off, okay. Let's talk Amazon is what we're going to talk about first. And I'm going to break down each store by each category that I got stuff, which basically just means Amazon, I'm going to break down what I got um, because that's where I ordered most of my stuff from. So the first thing, just because it's right here, is these utensils. Um, this like holder was not with these utensils. Um, I didn't like the holder that it came with. So I had this with a big plant in that died and so we're repurposing it but I actually thought these were gonna be white when I ordered them but I I love the aesthetic I actually hate the color gray but it's okay because it matches my tile backsplash um so I got all of these utensils which I have all of these but they just weren't as aesthetic like the wooden handle like I like but I mean you get like tongs you get like an icing spreader there's two um, flipping spatulas, there's a ladle, like there's all kind of stuff in here. So I did get this and I'm pretty excited for it. So now all of my utensils are like the same rather than having a hodgepodge of different ones. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this next one, my house stuff, it was like a good like two out of the three disappointment. Not that it was even a disappointment, but two out of the three, not what I expected, I should say. Um, so that I expected to be white and brown, not gray and brown. This is a shower head, which is so bizarre. But honestly, I'm blaming TikTok for this one. And I don't even get on TikTok that often. But when I do, I always spend more money than what I want to. So I just really should stay off TikTok. But this is a like mineral shower head. So it like these little beads in it are supposed to like take out like bacteria which we have well water and like iron and stuff it's supposed to like filter all that out which with my blonde hair um it's toned darker because my well water was making it orange so hopefully this will help and it's also supposed to have a lot of pressure now the disappointing thing about the shower head because i haven't even hooked it up so i don't know if it even works but i thought it had a hose with it like to detach it so we can like bath our dogs that was the main reason i got this so when I unboxed it and realized there was no hose, I was mildly disappointed, but I'm still excited to try it and see how I like it. I think I can just buy like a hose for it. I don't know. 
So that's what we're gonna try. Anyway, there's that. And then the third home thing from Amazon that I got, I'm going to insert a clip right here. Um, it is a jute rug that I am obsessed with. Mildly allergic to, definitely break out and rash when I was like carrying it and like putting it away. But I think that's just jute in general. It's just irritating to the skin. But it's so pretty. I have it in my office. My office is the most like boho room in the entire house. Like just very earthy, bohemian style. And this jute rug really just brought it all together. Um, so I love that. So now let's move on to the next category of Amazon products, which is shoes. I got two pair of shoes from Amazon and then one from Ross that I'll show you later. First one is a pair of Hey Dudes, um, which I don't know if it's just like trendy where I live or if they're just becoming trendy everywhere, but I'm obsessed with these. They're the most comfortable shoes ever. I really wanted the all white pair. Can't find them. They are sold out basically everywhere. Um, so I got the beige and cream ones and I love them. That's basically, that's that's all she wrote is my, my hey dudes because whew. And then I also got a knockoff pair of Burks. Um, I have like a million pairs of these kind of sandals and I find that like after one summer, they're usually like so worn in that I just need to pitch them because like this part will wear or like they will crack here if you get the ones that aren't like fully photo like this. So I will say this is the most high quality pair of knockoff Burks that I have ever owned. Um, I love that they have the brown the black bottom and like the creamish tan on the top like you can literally pair these with any single outfit that you want because they have all of the colors um so that is super super cool i wore these yesterday so comfortable it was raining here and they did stain my feet so i'm thinking that means it's real leather on the bottom or whatever that is on the bottom it's it's like legit it's not like the fake cheapy stuff um so i'm obsessed with these we'll be wearing these at the beach this year the next thing is easing us into our clothing and that is an accessory piece and these are from the brand Sorvani Sorvano Sorvino Sorvino I don't know but these are some knockoff way sunglasses uh um I have never loved such an inexpensive pair of sunglasses in my life I think I paid like under $20 for these I'm not even kidding like they're so good. I have through two pairs. I lost one. So I have two pairs of the way sunglasses. Love them. They're my favorite. I love how big they are. I call them my hangover glasses. I don't even drink, but I call them my hangover glasses. Um, and these are way better to me because I don't care if I ruin them because they were so cheap. And like they're so high quality. Can we just like... This brand is killing it. They have a ton of different sunglasses and I just wanted to order like one pair just to see. But like these honestly are my new go-to sunglasses. Next, we have a lot of clothing. So I have it kind of sorted. I actually didn't get that many clothes from the other store. So all the clothing pieces basically are from Amazon. So I'm just going to kind of pick up from the pile here and show you what I have going on. So this first piece is a brown dress, which I actually bought with the intent of it being a cover up. It's like um, very loose fitting. So you can do like the off the shoulder or just keep it open and like have like a bralette here or you can like toss it off one shoulder. Super cute, it kind of comes down a little bit so you can kind of wear it in towards the fall if you're in like a warmer season. Um, but actually once I got it, I like it as an actual dress, not just a cover up because it comes down a little bit in the back. Um, and as a hairstylist, that's something I have to watch for. One, because pedicures, ooh. And two, because when you're leaning over to shampoo somebody, if your dress is too short, your booty pops out. Nobody wants to see that. So I'm super excited for this. Um, it's, the material's not the most high quality. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, it's it's not, but she cute. She is cute. I love this color. Um, if you wanna see how I fully styled it, again, link is down below. I'm not gonna say that for everyone, but this is my first clothing piece, so wanted to mention it. So I love this guy. Next, I only got one of these. I ordered two, but only one has come in the mail so far, but just some like simple v-necks. And again, this is one that you can wear like straight on, or you can toss it off the shoulder because it is such a, like a long, um, neck hole. What is this called? Like, what is this spot in my shirt called? I don't know. But anyway, it's got like the pocket a little bit longer on the sides and they're rolled up. Um, I did get these in a large because I wanted them to be oversized because with leggings you can wear them and not have to worry about your booty. You can tie them up plenty fine. You can tuck them into your sports bra and make them cropped. Like I just went large because I wanted it to be um, like a nice loose fitting oversized v-neck. 
Okay, this one, oh, I'm excited. This was a Hanes hoodie, or a Hanes um, crew neck, and I'm obsessed with it. I'll be honest, the picture on Amazon made it look a little bit darker, but I like this like sage color anyway. Um, so again, I got this in a big size because I wanted it to be that oversized crew type, and I'm so excited like going into fall for this. It is just so like cozy and cute, and uh, this with a pair of gym shorts and my new sandals, that's the look. That's the look, sis. So I'm excited for this. I haven't worn it yet because it's been so humid here, but I'm really excited to break that out. Oh my gosh, these I'm so excited for too. Um, I wore these last night to sleep in. I think it was the first night that I wore them, but I got new jammies. And I'm the type, like, I sleep in a short and sport, like shorts and a sports bra. I've always been that way. That's just what I sleep in. So, like, to buy cute PJ sets never made sense to me. But I finally have a cute PJ, like the silk ones, because like I don't sleep in a silk shirt. Like yeah, I'll sleep in the shorts, but I end up just putting a sports bra with it and it's not cute and like it was like pointless. So I finally found a pair that like looks cute with like a black sports bra for when I'm like actually sleeping. Not that you need to match or look cute while you sleep. I'm just that irritatingly extra. But look at this. So it's this white um like t-shirt that says let me sleep. And then, yeah, I'm going to toss that so you can see it with, like, the little eyelashes. Look at these shorts. Are these cute or, like, are they cute? Because, what? Oh, my gosh. So, they're very, very stretchy. Um, I got these in a medium, I think. I'm not certain, but, like, how cute is this? So, like, when I, like, I just paired it with, like, a black, like, bralette or sports bra underneath. And then, like, I just slipped it with my shorts and my black sports bra. So, I still matched. But then this still looks cute over top. Like, do you know what I mean? Because this is, this hits. This is a good, a good look. Okay. I also got an athletic tank, which I was kind of disappointed with this one because the Amazon picture had, like, a cute strappy black sports bra. So, I was anticipating that to come like connected or with the tank top which not that I don't already have like a zillion strappy black sports bras but I just guess I wanted another one and I didn't get that it was just this so I was kind of disappointed but it's okay so I was also very confused like I was like what like how does this go up like there's so many different like strings no I'm just stupid and it goes like this um, and then there's just like a random like little thing that goes up here, but it's like an open back workout tank So like if you have a cute sports bra to wear This is this is where it's at, but in the picture it had like a cute black sports bra under it So I thought I was getting that with the purchase of this tank top Otherwise, I, I probably wouldn't have bought it like I'll definitely wear it But I didn't need it and especially not without the sports bra um, I grabbed another pair of black gym shorts because if you know me in my personal life, my black and white Nike gym shorts are ripped and I still wear them everywhere. Like this little bottom seam is like ripping off of them and I still literally wear them everywhere and I finally am like, these are ripping too much. I need to throw them away. I need a new pair of black gym shorts. So here we are. I got some Under Armour ones because I was a little ticked at Nike because my other one's ripped. Um, so yeah, that's what these are. Um, I always get the ones that have the built-in undies because... If you're not doing that, like, you're not doing something right. I don't know. But anyway, yep, got these. Oh, I'm super excited for this next thing. Oh, and this next thing is the last, this is the last, oh, second to last thing I have to show you from Amazon. And this is a black maxi dress, which is covered in lint because I washed it and apparently there was a fuzzy towel in there and now there's lint all over it so don't mind that but it's like a, a v-neck okay this thing is in the back so it's like a v-neck okay and then it's got short like short like rolled up sleeves and then it's like long okay but it's like slit on the legs i'm so excited for this because this is like summer fall layer in the winter like you can wear this all year round and it's so soft like i want this in every single color I'm very, very happy. This is probably one of my favorite purchases in this entire haul. That's a pretty big statement, but it's, it is definitely one of my favorites. And then the last thing is this. Okay, so this is the last piece from Amazon that I'm gonna show you. And it is this like sports bra tank from Amazon. Like, how cute is this? So there's like a built-in bra like underneath and then it's just the tank top. So like you literally don't have to put a bra on. Like it's, 
a game changer. Okay, that is all for my Amazon half of the video. Let's shift to, I have a couple things from TJ's. Yeah, a couple things from TJ's, a couple things from Ross, and actually I forgot I have a couple things from Shein that I wanna show you. Um, so I'm just gonna show you my TJ Maxx stuff first because we're already on clothing. So I didn't really get clothing clothing there, but I got some undies, which <laughs> I think, <laughs> I don't like to show you my stuff online, okay? Like that's weird, but they're new, they're clean. So I'm gonna talk about it anyway. And these are from Danskin, and these are their seamless thongs. Like, sorry, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube either because I like keep it PG-13 here, but they are so much better than Victoria's Secret. Like, I'm sorry I said it, but like these don't roll up. They have like a little bit of a tighter thing so they don't like bunch up or fall down you actually like fit in it which is good oh these are just these are way better and way more affordable and like if you're sleeping on dance skin like don't be because it, it is it is where it's at anymore and i'm gonna put you on a couple other dance skin products again i got these all at tj's i don't even know where else you can get dance skin i know it used to be at walmart like is it still anymore because i don't know but i got these little bralette things like they're a little bit longer than like a regular sports bra but they're not as long as this tank top but they're like the double strapped um ones so you can see like they each have two straps like running up the sides these are freaking cute guys like but i got it in black and then it also came in my favorite like terracotta like brown color oh my gosh if you are sleeping on dance skin wake up and go buy them because like you'll be so happy and for reference <laughs> i'm like a 34c and like i got a medium and they fit great so like there's that and then i also got these that are also from dan skin um and they are sports like just regular sports bras actually max picked these otherwise i probably wouldn't have got them um but i do like them and it just came in a pack with like a cream one and a gray one and they just have like some cute like it almost looks lacy, but it's like texturing in the back, like so it'd be cute with an open back tank. Um, again, like they're just so buttery soft. They're so like durable and high quality for the price point. Like, go, go, like run, don't walk, and then go buy them because you're welcome. Okay, so this is the last thing I got at TJ's, and I'm so happy I did. I'm so excited. It was so affordable because COVID, you know, like people aren't traveling so all of their suitcase and luggage is on sale. And I tried talking Max into getting one, but he said he doesn't pack with suitcase, so whatever. Um, but it is like the travel size. It's not like the huge one, but it's a little bigger than a carry-on. It's the Cowpack Tustin collection in the size of medium. Um, yeah. So I have a huge hard case, real like wheelie suitcase, um, but it has the four wheels on the bottom. It's hard shell. I'm so excited. Do you wanna know how much I paid for this? Do you wanna know? Because you're gonna be like, are you serious? It was on sale for $34. A medium sized cow pack suitcase for $34. Like what so that was a great freaking find i was so pumped about this um and we go to the beach every october which if you've been a long time subscriber you know that and don't at me and be like you shouldn't go with covid because we stay like literally in the middle of nowhere in a house with my family and we don't even go out so we're going um so this will be so nice i get to use this in like 35 days and i can't wait oh okay i really do only have one thing to show you from ross um but like where I live, the Ross and TJ Maxx are side by side, so I always go to both. Um, and this is my second best find. And these are Ugg slippers that I paid $25 for. Like, what? In my size, they ain't even too big. Are you kidding me right now? Like, they're like the actual, like, Ugg slippers. They literally only have one pair left and it was in a six and a half and I had to get it. Yay! So we're almost done with this video, but we're on our last store and that is Shein. 
just gotta throw out one more disclaimer here. I don't wanna hear none of that. Why are you supporting Chinese country jobs? Blah, 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 because I don't care and I don't wanna hear it. So just don't say it, okay? Cause I don't wanna hear it. I just don't. And I, I bought them and I love them and I have never felt more confident in swimsuits than I do in these three that I'm about to show you. So like, let me just, let me tell you a little something. I have such a hard time finding swimsuits because like I'm not, I'm not bigger, but like I'm not as skinny as I used to be. And like I still feel like I got like some good curve, but like there's also some curve that I don't want. So it's very difficult for me to find a swimsuit that I actually feel confident in. And I have like last year I went to the beach for my honeymoon and I actually was like very uncomfortable with like the thought of our honeymoon because I didn't feel confident with my body in a swimsuit going to the beach. I know it's stupid. I know I should just accept my body, but it's just how I am and I'm just at this point and certain clothes make me feel better about my body and I'm, I'm starting to find what I find that I love the way it looks on myself so when I tell you that these are my three winners if you have a body type similar to mine go get these because you will feel so good about yourself and you'll be like um I'm sorry COVID who I want to go to the beach so with that being said let's let's see what we have here because there are three um so also for reference i ordered all of these in a large which i was very nervous to do because typically i'm like a i'm a me i'm like a solid medium like sometimes i get a medium large if i want it oversized very rarely will i go down to a small but I'm like a pretty straight medium. But I have ordered mediums from these companies before and the tops were too small. Like the bottoms fit good, but the tops didn't fit my chest. So you can't like pick like, I want a small top and, or a medium top and a large, or a large top and a medium bottom. Like you can't mix and match. So you have to get all of one size. So I was very nervous, but I knew I needed a large top. So I just got larges in general and hoped for the best for the bottoms. And they actually fit which I don't know if I should be happy about, but they do, and I'm not gonna complain. So the first one is this white, black, and brown cheetah print swimsuit. This is the most, um, like, frilly, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, so it is a deeper V here, and then it has these cute little, like, shoulder things, which if you're uncomfortable with your arms, this just kind of helps cover a little bit. It covers any of this little, like, armpit flubber bubber, whatever you want to call it. But I know it's another thing that a lot of women are a little bit insecure about. Um, and girl, don't be, like, rock your body. That's the thing. But feel confident. Like, you want to feel confident while you're rocking what you got. And then they have these high-waisted bottoms. They don't show too much. These are probably the most, um, like bought like coverage on all of the swimsuits i'm about to show you for the bottoms it is just so cute and like this print i'm so excited to wear it next one i found um from brooklyn and bailey they're twins on instagram and youtube if you aren't familiar with them and they kept posting pictures in this it looks so bright in real life it's not quite that bright in real life i mean it's bright but not quite this bright um and they kept posting pictures and I was like, I want that swimsuit. Like, that is so cute. And so they said they got it from Shein. And that's what kind of put me on this whole ordering something from them because I knew I needed a new swimsuit. So it's got like, hold on. It's kind of like ruched. Is that the word? Oh, that's more true to color. Like, that is so cute. But you can see it's like textured. Like it's not like a regular swimsuit it's like texture don't mind my color stained nails but yeah and then the bottoms are a little bit it looks like they're gonna be super cheeky they're not too too bad but the bottoms are not all the way high-waisted like but like right below the belly button high-waisted so just enough to cover that little fupa and make you feel so good about yourself because this and this feels like all three of these this definitely feels like the most high quality. The cheetah one I would say is second and then this one I'm going to show you is probably like the third. But for quality, for the price I paid for these, I think this was $12.99. And this is probably the best swimsuit I've ever gotten from like Zaffle, Shein, Cup Sheet, anything like that. These are definitely, this is the best so far. And the last one, which is just super cute and honestly like my aesthetic like to the max, like the brown, the posies, like it's just cute, but it looks polka dotted from far away. Am I holding this right? And this is just a tube top one. So I have like a girly one, a good tanning one, and then a bandeau one to get rid of like the cut tan lines or like the, the higher tan lines. But how cute is this? 
Like that makes it pretty true to color, but they're actually little flowers, but from far away, it looks polka dotted. It is so stinking cute. Um, and this one, I'll be honest, she a little, she a little cheeky cheeky, but it's okay. She's still cute though. And again, it comes up like right below the belly button. Oh, it's just so stinking cute. But anyway, now let me insert pictures of these guys. I got these from Shein. They're really freaking cute. And like they totally match the aesthetic of my room. So I love them. Um, yeah. Okay guys, so that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you got something out of this video. And if you wanna support me, it means a whole ton, but my link will be down below that you can shop any of these pieces. Um, and yes, so thanks for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below and comment your favorite thing that I showed in this video. And yes, I will see you guys maybe on Friday. I still have that Faith Friday I need to edit. I'm going to try to do that. Um, but so hopefully maybe that will be up on Friday. If not, I'll see you on the following Monday. So thank you guys a bunch for watching. I love you all so much. Goodbye.